Ooh. There's that kill, the straight kill is a shot. Yeah. Cool and get it. Two game balls for the Malaysian. One saved, very quick succession. We often talk about the big three on the women's tour, Borka. They're on Gohar, they're on in this. She's moving that well, and she knows, of course, if she came too much to the front, maybe her mummy can be, you know, uh, attacked very well. So, I know it's, it's, it's absolutely down. blistering from Subramania. Just showing, as you said, Borka, she can hit the winners in the front and the back. And maybe they can have a good reward there. Through the interference, Hamami, she's totally in control here. The momentum's completely switched in favour of Hamami. Left. Clever angle from Subramani, and we saw her use the down the shot, okay. down the middle of the court shot yesterday really oh well. My. No way. They are in a very good position, both of them and, uh, having a player is reaching the, this final and, and also she like re beating the, uh, the woman that she beat this game. It's no pressure on her for sure, it's uh, living the moment of her life for now and, and just have to keep doing the same thing with no pressure. So I think... Five sets. So 15, close. 13 and the fifth. Oof. I think this game, whoever wins this game is going to win the match. She's got it. The movement from Hamami. Putting a lot of pressure on Subramaniam here, who looks to be just struggling a little bit with fatigue. But what does it matter if you're fatigued when you can hit winners like that? The carriage. The ball was very high. Got it. Oh, wow! Unreal shot. Unreal balls come round, yeah. rip round the walls, followed up by that. She hits this backhand line like um, no other. Really open game, Lisa. Many opportunities for both to close the game. But the quality from both also shows that the. Uh, giving opportunities for both. Great game. Very squash. Oh, it's the dive! Still going! Oh. Just going back to the between games and interactions with the coaches, what did you prefer as a player? Some tactical advice? or some mindset advice, or maybe a combination of both? What worked for you? Yeah, I think tactical advice is nice, you know. Sometimes you can motivate yourself also. I mean, both of them are good, but uh, if something is obvious, tactically, it helps a lot, I think. You know, to give you a different yeah. perspective. Sometimes you are focused one, on one two. thing and it's not the right one. And, and it's a... That 
backhand line is absolutely immaculate from Super Mario. on the prowl. Tension and also like tiredness of the arm to hitting so, so, so many balls in the last two days. Look at that. Oh, it's it's working better. Pinship balls still stand. It's better than a lead than a lead. feeling after winning this first ever gold title yeah I'm really happy with um, with how I played this week you know um, it's it's great um, beating three of the top four players uh, to this whole tournament just proud of how uh, I won today as well you know honey as a fighter um, she she didn't give up any point and uh, I'm just really happy to be uh, winning yeah okay well awesome. give us a nice big trophy lift moment let's hear it for your Gillen Markets London squash classic champion 2024 Steven Sengari Subramaniam! Uh.